What's up guys, it's Old Ninja wearing Aviators and the Superhero Hat, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now guys, today we're going to be covering a new weapon in our Weapon Log series. Today we're going to be doing the awesome nunchucks that I got sent by 10th Degree Weaponry. But there's one issue with that. So, uh, they actually got stolen from me. There's a whole, there's a whole deep backstory to that that I don't want to go into, but they got stolen from me and so I was not able to make this video for a long time. I had to wait till I actually got to Arkansas so I could use some nunchucks from 10th Degree Weaponry that other people had. But I'm going to give you that review just the same though. So we got set two pairs of extreme nunchucks, just like these. Now these obviously have been used for a lot longer than the ones I had for such a short amount of time. So they're a little bit more worn than mine were, uh, but all of the wear and tear is gonna be in the colors on the pattern. Simply because of the fact that it's a paper wrap, it can get scratched up, it can get a little messed up over the years of use. Now. These have been used for a very long time and the paper is still mostly good with just a couple of nicks on it. So the fact that it's lasted so long is still a very good thing. Now, when you decide to get your nunchucks, you have two different main options. You can either get chain nunchucks like this one right here with a three or five link chain on them, or you can get rope nunchucks like these ones right here with just a short or slightly longer rope on them. And they both have benefits and they both have drawbacks. Talking about the chain first, the chain is going to be longer lasting by far. You're not gonna have any wear and tear on these chains for years and years and years. You'll be just fine. And if you take care of your nunchucks, it'll be even longer than that before you have to actually replace part of the chain. So if you plan on getting nunchucks for practice, and just learning how to use nunchucks and you want to put it through the ringer and might bang it up a little bit, chain is where you should definitely go with. It keeps it a little bit more rigid, a little bit more structured and helps when you're learning nunchucks a lot easier. Now rope is obviously going to have the drawback of being less resistant to damage. The rope will fray and you may have to replace it several times uh, throughout its career depending on how long and how often you use it. However, if you plan on doing any kinds of tricks that require uh, dexterity and special things like that, rope is going to be ideal because rope will allow the nunchucks to spin more fluidly and more smoothly. So if you plan on doing some of the stuff you see me do on some of my tutorials and uh, Instagram videos and stuff like that, those tricks, I would suggest getting a rope. But if you're just starting in nunchucks, my suggestion would be for chain. <laughs> Now your second choice when you're getting ready to buy your nunchucks is how long you want the chain. And that depends on what you want to do with your nunchucks. I have short chains. I love using three chain, uh, chain link chains or that same length of rope. The reason being when I spin it and do my tricks, I can catch it whoop, always and the nunchuck will be back in my hand because I like holding my nunchucks top, closer to the top so you'll have more control. And so when I spin it into my hand, I get the nunchuck part. I don't control the chain part. Now, if you have a longer chain like this one right here, here's the comparison. The issue you will have when doing that same thing is the fact that you will catch it on the chain instead of in the nunchucks. And so that can be a little more um, difficult if you're trying to do those quick tricks like catching it like that or having it fly into your hand or stuff like that. It can be a little bit more difficult, but having a longer chain will allow you more range. So if you're looking for combat experience and combat nunchucks, which I mean, if you want to carry nunchucks with you all the time, go for it. When that fight broke out, he was ready for it with his trusty katana. This will allow you to get more range on your strikes. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like and comment down below. If you want me to do another type of weapon, whether it's uh, spears, a trident, Whatever it is, let me know down in the comments. Give me some ideas because I love hearing from you guys. If you haven't joined my Discord yet and want to give me more solid ideas and want to compete 
in polls that I do for future content, definitely join my Discord because they always get the first say and they always know when I live stream as well. So if you are interested in seeing my unboxings, check that out. But until next time, as always, do all of that fun YouTube stuff. Thank you, Notification Squad, for joining in. And my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.